you know, sometimes when we feel we're being the most reasonable, we're actually coming from our wounding and it just seems reasonable to us because we're carrying the wounding of it. So if you say, like if a person was a little kid and he was uh, discouraged a lot, um, not allowed to have his true energy, his or her true energy, then what will seem reasonable to that person is kind of a repeat of that same energy and the mind will find explanations for it. So for example, <laughs> I've got one. Um, I remember my dad once telling me that I, um, that if I earned half the amount of money that he would pay for me to go to Hawaii. He would pay the rest of it. So indeed, an opportunity came up with um, friends of mine, good, solid friends, and, their, and her family, who my parents knew. They were going to Hawaii and invited me. And so I said, look, can I, I've got half my fare saved up. Can you, can you pay the other half? And he said, no. <laughs> And it was so unreasonable because we'd had this discussion before um, where he'd okayed it. Now, years after, I realized it was coming from his wounding. It seemed very reasonable to him for me not to go. Um, it seemed reasonable because as a kid, he, he wasn't allowed any freedom at all. And, you know, the family kind of ignored the heart song so his heart song was squashed so all he knew to do, knew to do was squash mine and he thought he was being reasonable but it's not just him it's like I've done I've done stuff with my own boys that when I look back on I go oh my goodness so I just think it's important that we that we you know uh, just keep a door open in our dealings with others to you know, not be so sure that we're right and maybe to keep the door open to be able to look at ourselves okay bless your heart it takes a lot of courage it's quite humbling but we become better people and the world needs i feel you know people who are more thoughtful and noble maybe you know Okay, bless your hearts.